there are several different layers to the atmosphere. So first we're going to draw the ground. And I used brown. Now we know as you go up in height, the air gets less and less dense. So here is the lowest layer, it's very dense, and then it gets a little less dense. Ah, that's better. And even less dense with height. You know, so you can see it is more dense to less dense. Now we are going to show you the different layers via temperature. When you look here, let's say this is zero degrees, and as you go this side on the graph, it gets warmer, then you get 100 degrees. And from this side, you get colder to negative 100. And these units are in degrees Celsius. Now, near the surface, we're going to give it a temperature of, supposed, uh, say, around 20 degrees or something. So we're going to start around 20, and as you go up, it gets warmer, than, you know, it gets colder, then starts getting warmer again. And then what happens? It gets a little colder, and then it gets warmer and warmer. Now, every time we have a temperature change, we have a new layer forming, or new layer arising as we go up in the sky. So it gets colder, 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 then it gets to a point where the temperature reverses. Then it gets warmer again to about minus 15 to zero degrees, and the temperature starts to reverse again and get colder again, then it starts to get warmer again. So this lowest layer over here is the you know, we call it the troposphere. The second layer here, and these are not drawn to scale, is the stratosphere. Now, you know, in this description or depiction, the stratosphere is thinner than the troposphere, but actually each layer gets a little thicker as the air gets less and less dense. Then we get to the mesosphere. And then the thermosphere. Now beyond the thermosphere is referred to as the exosphere. <clears throat> now this line here where the temperature starts to reverse between the troposphere and the stratosphere is referred to as the thermopause. I mean, I'm sorry, the tropopause. And this layer here, between the stratosphere and the mesosphere, is the stratopause. And then between the mesosphere and the thermosphere, can you guess what it is? Correct, the meso... Um, pause. So, what forms these different layers? This first layer, you know, the air is getting less dense with height and the temperature is getting colder because there is less friction between the molecules. But then in the stratosphere, it's getting even less dense with height. And you know, once you get to the stratosphere, when you get up to over 100,000 uh, feet, you know, the, the atmospheric pressure can drop down to like 10 millibars and even less as you go up with height. Well, why does the temperature get warmer? Simple. The stratosphere, especially the lower part of the stratosphere, is composed main, mainly of ozone. And ozone is a highly reactive chemical, so it breaks up different chemicals in the air and it's, 
you know, because of all the chemical reactions, it basically generates heat. So then it warms up with height. And then the air gets so thin that it gets colder again. But then this is the interesting thing. It gets hot and then it, it can get up to even like hotter than a thousand degrees Celsius. But this is not really a sensible temperature in the thermosphere. It's more the fact that one air molecule may be way over here, another one may be way over there. So there's very little friction between the air molecules that they are moving so fast. And if we were up there, out in the middle of space, or, well, where the space shuttles fly at least, we will, you know, we will feel cold, but, you know, we measure the temperature at, you know, hundreds of degrees to a little over a thousand, and that is because we're measuring temperature as a factor of molecular activity because it is not a sensible temperature. Now, one other thing to note is that the thermosphere, you know, sometimes referred to as the ionosphere because auroras occur over here. With the mesosphere, the atmosphere, although really, really thin, is still thick enough that that is where you see a lot of meteors. And the stratosphere, the, temp the atmosphere gets thick enough to where it blocks out most of the UV light. And that's why you hear people talk about the ozone layer. They're afraid that it's going to deteriorate and create, you know, a lot of UV hitting the ground. But in reality, the so-called hole in the ozone layer is just a region where it's a little thinner. So, you know, here it blocks UV. Now what about the troposphere? This is where the bulk of the weather occurs. Now certain situations like an intense updraft in a cumulonimbus, uh, you know, thundercloud can breach, you know, and have an overshooting top. But other than the lowest part of the stratosphere, you know, to 40, 50,000 feet in altitude from the ground, to the surface is where most of the weather occurs. And these are the layers of the atmosphere.